Hey, what's up everybody, AWOL here. I have been ranking YouTube channels for a living for media companies, creators, private clients, etc. for 10 years. I'm gonna teach you one of my best methods to actually rank your actual channel for keywords. Two types of keywords you need to be focusing on. One type is your branded keywords. So that's like your name or the name of your channel or any keywords that are you know, unique to you. So for me, that would be AWOL or Andrew Wall or AWOL Digital, for example. For you, you know what yours are. And the second type of keywords is the one that everyone talks about, right? Non-branded keywords, you know, those topic-related keywords for your channel. So if you're a Fortnite channel, obviously Fortnite and Fortnite gameplay, etc., would be your non-branded keywords. I'm gonna teach you how to rank both of those as much as you can on the back end of your channel. This is going to be an in the weeds, detailed step-by-step -step tutorial. So get ready to get nerdy with some YouTube SEO. And if you don't wanna do that and you don't wanna rank your channel, then please leave right now because we're gonna get in the weeds with this. Are you ready? I'll try to make it as simple as possible. So first step, go ahead and go into your YouTube dashboard and go into the new YouTube studio. Click the analytics tab in the left-hand side over there, and that's gonna be how you find out what your channel is currently ranking for. What you'll wanna do is click the underutilized advanced mode section right over here, and you'll be able to actually see where the traffic is coming from for your channel way more specifically. What you'll do is go right here to the traffic source tab in your channel, and then you're gonna click that and you're gonna look at your top sources of traffic when you scroll down. So for me, YouTube search is big. I've designed this channel for YouTube search. For you, it may be different, but I would click YouTube search because that's gonna let you know where you are most, uh, let's say you have the most authority on these key terms and YouTube is ranking you for these key terms. What you're going to do is you are going to assess which of these key terms are relevant to your channel right now and moving forward and keep that in mind. That is step number one. Great. Step number two is upload any old video to your YouTube channel. I like the classic uploader, the new one's not so good because TubeBuddy doesn't work with it and just name it SEO Workshop. And what you're gonna do is use this video to build all of your metadata for your channel. Let me show you what I mean. So all those keywords that you determined were useful here in the traffic source tab, copy them and then paste them into this SEO workshop video you just created, which is step number two. Drop them down here in your tags. Fill up about three to 400 in this section of those such traffic source related keywords that you're already ranking for. And what do I mean three to 400? It'll tell you your total number of 500 available down here. Do three to 400 of those. And as you can see, I did that on mine. How to stream on Facebook, OBS tutorial, et cetera, et cetera. After you fill up about three to 400 of those, then you're going to reserve the remainder of your keywords for branded keywords. So the top half of my tags up here are non-branded keywords, and the bottom half of my tags are branded keywords. My branded keywords are AWOL, AWOL Digital, Andrew Wall, and then you wanna take your name or names and add the key term YouTube to the end of them in case anybody's searching for your YouTube channel. AWOL YouTube, AWOL Digital YouTube, you get it. And then here's a power tip. If you have any other shows or channels or series or other branded keywords that are very associated with your name, include those here too. My podcast, The Digital Drop Podcast, is very associated with my name. I'm a host on that show, so I included those branded keywords here where basically two thirds of your, brand, of your keywords moving forward are gonna be non-branded, and then about one third-ish is going to be branded. You get it? Plug that into the video, and if you want help on getting better versions of these keywords, you can download TubeBuddy. You don't have to, but I recommend it. TubeBuddy is absolutely free. It is a Chrome extension I have installed. Use my affiliate code AWOLVERSES, A-W-A-L-L-V-S, and I get credit for you downloading it. And this can help you search maybe a little bit deeper on those keywords if you're interested. Great, now that you have those keywords down here, you know what you're gonna be focusing on ranking for as your channel and doubling and tripling down on those. And by the way, you're going to want to repeat this process, I'm telling you right now, once every three months, okay? So once you have those keywords, you're gonna write a juicy SEO filled description 
at the top of your descriptions that you're going to use across your different areas on your channel. I'm going to show you where to apply these in a moment. For example, mine is AWOL Digital branded keyword, uh, teaches creators software strategy they need to create content on time. AWOL branded keyword, OBS Studio non-branded keyword, Facebook Gaming non-branded keyword, live streaming non-branded keyword, you get it. And there's Andrew Wall branded keyword, etc., etc., packed into the top of that description that you're going to be using moving forward on your channel uh, to stuff in there, if you will, uh, on top of every video you currently have and as your channel description and your upload default moving forward. Okay, so that's what you're gonna do here. You're gonna write a really SEO rich version of all of those keywords that you have down below in a nice tight description about your channel right here. When you're constructing the rest of your description, what you wanna do is write that SEO description as the first thing in your description, your social media links in the second part of the description. Then in the third part, talk a little bit more about your story or your background. That'll allow you to use more keywords and just to get people to get to know you a little bit better if they actually decide to click in your description and read a little bit more. And then after that, if you have any other avenues that you'd like people to be interested in that are related to your current channel's content, include the links to that. For example, my podcast is relevant and I include those here. Notice how the, I use the format in my descriptions with these pretty little emojis to get everything separated and easy to understand. Feel free to look at my description on this video and copy this format if you would like. I use nice little bitly links to make it look tight, etc. The last thing you'll want to include here in your template are any other standard disclosures that you need to put on your channel, such as you are sponsored or you're using music from a particular source or you're licensing video from a particular source. Okay, great. Now that all of that is created, are you still with me? Take a breath, it's okay. That was a lot of steps. Take a breath. Now that all of that is created, we're gonna actually go apply that to multiple areas on our channel and it's gonna help you rank up for your branded keywords and your non-branded keywords now. Let's go. All right, let's get into it. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna grab all these tags. Go ahead and control A to copy them all. Control, uh, control A to select them all here. Control C to copy them. And then you're gonna go into your channel and in the bottom left-hand corner, you see the settings down here? You're going to start applying that to two different areas within the settings of your channel to make sure you're doubling and tripling down on those keywords. Go to settings, go to channel, and you're going to paste those keywords here into your channel keywords right here and hit save, okay? So that's stop number one. Stop number two is you wanna make those keywords your standard upload default moving forward. You paste them right here in your upload defaults. Great. Now, do you wanna use these keywords for every single upload no matter what? No, but you wanna put them in your upload default to remind you and to have your keywords handy if you wanna double down on these keywords for any of your content moving forward. And be sure to include your branded keywords if need be on any uploads moving forward that you don't have all 500 keywords filled in on your tags, okay? This allows that keyword to be available uh, for you at all times whenever you're optimizing your content and you upload a new video. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is take that juicy description that you just wrote, go ahead and control A to copy it all, control C, and then bring it right over here and then make that your standard description for all of your videos moving forward. Now, obviously you don't want this to be the only thing in the description of your videos moving forward, but you'll wanna add that to your descriptions for all of your videos. At the top of your actual descriptions, you'll wanna put you know, a very, very solid you know, one or two paragraph description of what the video actually is in each upload, but this is a good extra to add to all of your videos to add to double down on those branded and non-branded keywords that you are known for. Once you have all of that here in the upload defaults, then go ahead and click the save button. Great, you're not done though. So we have another place that we need to include these keywords in order to finish up the process essentially of doubling down on the keywords and helping you rank. So go to your actual YouTube channel. So click your avatar up here on the top left and it'll open up a new tab for your YouTube channel. I think this is it for me, there it is. And once you're here on your YouTube channel, you need to make sure you fill out your channel description on your channel as well with this new description that you created. So what you do is you click the about tab on your channel and then you scroll down and you'll see this little pen icon here. Click that 
and you can edit the actual description on your channel to include all those keywords again. You see how we're maximizing these keywords on our channel? There are multiple step here, steps here, don't forget it. What you're gonna to wanna to include in this description is the paragraph you wrote about your channel with your main keywords, copy those, and then paste them right here. And then your story and your, descri your description of who you are, what you're gonna do is go to those defaults, you're gonna copy that description of who you are, and then you are going to paste it right here on your channel right here to fill out as many characters as you can. As you can see, I kind of ran out of space on mine. So, and, so what we'll do is I'll just kind of end it there and hit a period and hit save. If it's not long enough, that's okay, that's fine. There you go. Now I have a nice juicy SEO description here at the top that, t that doubles down on my keywords for my channel here. And I tell my story of who I am and what my background is if anyone wants to read it on my channel. Okay, but wait, there's more. I told you I was gonna be in the weeds on this tutorial. There is even more if you want to double down on all of these keywords on your channel. Your main non-branded keywords that you've gone after, you need to have playlists on your channel that have those keywords in them and are curated to your channel. So for me, those include Facebook Gaming, OBS Studio Tutorials, just as two examples, and you know, creator strategy, social media strategy, etc. Whatever it is that your keywords are on your channel, make sure you've created playlists that include those keywords, are packed full of them, and are packed full of videos with those keywords to double, triple, quadruple down on the keywords. You get it? How many times am I gonna say keywords in this video? Sorry, it's probably getting annoying, but I'll be honest with you, it's really, really important. Here is your last step. Now you wanna do this one at your own risk. I don't think it's that risky anymore, but you have to do it at your own risk. You decide whether you wanna do something like this as a blanket update to your channel or not. This is completely up to you. Some people believe this may hurt your channel. Some people believe that it doesn't really matter. I don't think that it really matters. I've done this on many, many channels and it's actually just boosted my search results when I've done this, but here I'm gonna do something crazy. Are you ready? I'm gonna select all of my videos from my entire channel. Let me just make sure I select every single video that I have ever made. Select all videos on my entire channel. I'm going to click edit, I'm gonna click description, and I'm going to insert at end that description that we just came up with, right? The one that has the description of our channel, the one that has all those juicy links, the one that has all that juicy SEO in it. This will insert at the end of every description of every video on your channel. So it won't erase your current metadata. It'll add it to the end. You add a line right here at the top, a space at the top to make room between your old descriptions and this new stuff you're inserting. And then you insert at end and you hit update videos. Are you ready? It can't be undone if I do this. It can't be undone. Are you ready? We're gonna do it live and insert at end and Boom, it's gonna go through and update every single video I have on my channel. There's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of those videos. Okay, so there you go. I'm gonna keep you updated on how this process I just did for my personal channel helps me rank for all of these keywords and how it helps me grow. But so far I've increased my traction on my channel by about 80% uh, or so in the last month or two just cause I've started actually focusing on my own personal channel and my keywords using the methods I've used for my clients in the past. Let me know if you have any questions about this in the comments below. I'm happy to help you out. Free advice for all of you, just enjoy. And if you haven't already downloaded TubeBuddy, just do it, it's amazing. The free version's great. If you wanna upgrade, I think, to Pro, the first paid level, it gives you all of the keyword functionality you would want if you really wanna dive in really, really deep and get super nerdy with your tags and your, descript and, your and your keywords you're focusing on in your descriptions, it's totally up to you. Link in the description to that. Good luck creators, good luck ranking up and hit me up with your screenshots of you ranking for your own keywords on Twitter. Link in the description below to my Twitter. I'd love to just see those success stories of you being number one for those keywords you deserve to get, right? Go get them creators and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.